What a beautiful day. It is a nice 33 degrees. Fahrenheit. We are not on the beach. No, we are going to explore the old town of Nuremberg today and the one of the most famous Christmas markets in Germany. And we're really excited. This is gonna be our first time in Germany. I've always wanted to be in Germany. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. And regardless of the weather, we actually were here yesterday and we got to enjoy the Christmas market a little bit, but it was snowing and freezing and it was magical, but it was too cold to record. So we're gonna record today. <laughs> and we're here in the morning, so it'll be a little bit of a different vibe. Hopefully there's not gonna be as many people downtown. Let's go check out the Christmas market. <gasps> Wiener dog! Oh my God, our first German weenie. That's not a weenie dog. Yes it is. Is it? Andrew's been wanting to go to Germany his whole life. Oh, this is the this is the famous street. Sorry, this is like one of the most one of the most picturesque German streets in Germany. It's called. Uh, Come Weiss, on, German boy. Weißgubergasse. Germans, let us know if that's correct. I think that's right. Wow, this is so cool. Sorry, just gonna get a little. Mm. I'm gonna be a tourist for a second. part is that we're the only one here except for that person opening up their window right now well we got our coffee we got a cinnamon vanilla latte and we're at the Christmas market I can't think of a better morning <laughs> so this market dates back all the way to the 16th century but that's when it was written into a document but people think that it's actually older than that and we heard that this market is fantastic there's nothing wrong with it it is very touristy and very crowded but we also heard that there's some beautiful markets around Nuremberg that you have to explore but anyway we are here to enjoy this market fully we are going to try some of the, some more very typical things in the market as well as Christmas shop because that is very important for us and for our family so let's get going <laughs> so we cannot come to this market without getting Lebkuchen I think is how you say it or as we know it as gingerbread so gingerbread was actually made in this area of Germany in the 13th century and Nuremberg became the biggest exporter of it but what's really interesting is it's not all little gingerbread men there's a lot of them in cookie size they all look like little cookies and we chose a chocolate one and then a sugar-coated one I'm really excited to try it he the guy said this one was the best servus <laughs> Oh my gosh. Is it really good? It's so good. I'm, I'm, oh my god, it's so good. My mouth is melting. It's just so sitting good. Sitting behind this camera. <laughs> Here, you try it. Keep the camera rolling, people. I wonder what. Is this an almond? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> this might be one of the greatest cookies I've ever had. You would think it would be really crunchy by the way it looks, but it's really chewy. It's like the perfectly baked cookie from the oven. And also I feel like in the US our gingerbread cookies are very sugary. This isn't as like really sugary. It's more gingerbready. If that's right, if that's even a word. Yeah, and it's also not hard. Ours are very crunchy in the US. This is really gonna be hard to resist when we're just walking around all day looking at all of these. There's so many stalls that sell them around here, so it's hard to know which ones are the best. But I will say, these are a great start. Oh. All right, now give me a bite. Okay. <laughs> What's interesting is it has like this bottom coating. I don't know if that's sugar. It doesn't. It looks like another layer of cookie. It's like something we were supposed to peel off. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it makes it really tasty. So. Yeah, it does. It's like plastic. We're like, wow. <laughs> well, we were supposed to try the chocolate one too, but we just down the sugar. Yeah, we just down the sugar one. But we're gonna do both. This is like our breakfast, basically. So. Real quick before we continue our Christmas shopping. It's yeah. chocolate. I think I like the sugar one better. Really? Because it gets more of that gingerbread flavor and there's a lot of chocolate going on. But in terms of a chocolate cookie, I would grab this one first. And I am Yes. This is what they call in German a Dream Weckle. And this is just three sausages in a bun. I'm pretty sure that's literally what it translates to. 
but Nuremberg is known for their Nuremberger broadwurst or Nuremberger sausage. It's just these three little sausages about the size of like your index finger. And they throw them in a roll, you put some mustard and sauerkraut in it, and it's like a snack or a treat here. I already had one yesterday, but I'm really excited to, <laughs> to eat another one, <laughs> and they're so good. They basically taste like your little breakfast sausages that you would get from anywhere else, I think. But I think better. I have my gloves on. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I didn't get the mustard inside the whole thing, just on one side. <laughs> so, this that we have in our hands is Glückwein. And Glückwein is basically like a hot mold wine. You can get it in three different flavors. So Jenna has a white, I have a red, but one of the more famous from what I've read online and tasty is the blueberry, which... What? Yeah, she I didn't know. get it. I know. Did they offer it? Yeah, she did. She's like, blueberry? Anyway, oh, <laughs> so we might have to go get another. But also, a really cool thing is all, basically all of the stalls around here, you can buy the cup and get mold wine, and they, they make you pay a deposit for the glass. As like, you can keep the glass if you want it, but you lose your deposit. And these are really, really cool glasses. So we think we're gonna steal them. We're gonna keep them. We're gonna steal them. We paid for them. <laughs> Not necessarily. Basically, like, imagine like a hot red wine with like a clove and cinnamon in it. That's what it, that's what this tastes like. But it's really tasty, especially when it's cold outside. And it's only, and it, it also has alcohol. Starting off early. So, it's getting crazy here. It's yeah. so crowded. It's really crowded. I'm glad we came early because when we came it was nice and peaceful. But now everybody's here and it is a Saturday. And our Christmas shopping's going well. We got two ornaments. Hopefully we don't post, I guess. Yeah, I was like, hopefully we don't post Okay, this we got before. some stuff. <laughs> but we might have to move to the next thing or find some warmth soon. Find some warmth because I have so many clothes on right now. Like my whole closet <laughs> from Spain probably is on my body. Onward. Okay, so we made it to a nice, cozy, quick, de-thawing stop. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna be nice and cozy, get everything warm, fill up, and then we're gonna keep going on our journey of Christmas markets in Nuremberg. So us and every other person in this city <laughs> is currently at uh, the Nuremberg Castle. Woo! So this was built in 1050 by some king. Oh, yeah, some king, yeah. To get up here, we had to walk up this hill behind me, which was pretty uphill. Now we're gonna keep walking uphill to get to the top of the castle. Holy uphill. Holy uphill. <laughs> this feels like you're walking back into time as you look around. This is insane. This is so cool. Everything just looks so well preserved, and I just feel like I teleported, right? Into a new century. <laughs> the Nuremberg Castle is one of the most important medieval castles in Europe, or was one of the most important medieval castles in Europe. It's on the tallest hill in Nuremberg, so you get a beautiful view of the city. Highly recommend coming up here. It's completely free. What's really cool about Nuremberg is they have, they still have intact a lot of the walls, like the stone walls that were surrounding the city, but it's a really cool view and you get an idea of kind of like how the old city is completely surrounded by a medieval wall. That's about it. That's all I got. Woo! Fun facts. Okay, we're kind of coming back into the Christmas market, but it is freaking packed. There are so many people here right now. I cannot imagine what it's going to be like tonight. Yep, so come early, especially if you're coming on a weekend. Yeah, come early. We're not going to be here tonight. We're going to be at a different one, which we'll show you later. Plan ahead. And I think they only do this on weekends, so it's always going to be crowded, by the way. Look, Starbucks has the Lev Kuchin Latte. <laughs> Gingerbread. <laughs> so cool. So when we first landed in Germany, the first thing that we did was we went to a coffee shop, which was this really cute Mexican styled coffee shop. Once we got there, we were chatting with the barista in Spanish for a while and he was so nice. And he gave us recommendations of things to do in Nuremberg. And he said, yeah, the Christmas market's nice, but there's another local one you can check out because the one that we were just at gets so crazy and busy, right? So. That's where we are. <laughs> We're gonna check out this local Christmas market in a neighborhood called Weistadt. <laughs> my German is just as good as my French. <laughs> Let's go see what it's like and compare it to the main Christmas market. He said that this is the more hipstery part of town. So he said this is, has a, also has a really good selection of bars and beer and other things like that, which I'm also very excited for. But yeah, it looks like I can see the Christmas market in front of us. It's already lit up. It's not even nighttime. Man, look at this church in front of us. I know. We've loved Nuremberg so far. Yeah, Nuremberg's great. 
but I could really understand how you could get seasonal depression here because it's dark all the time, even in the morning. So this is definitely tinier than I was expecting. So we're definitely not gonna look like locals. We might have to speak German. So we'll tell you what it's like. So we've come to this recommendation and it is very local. Everyone here is looking at us a little funky. It's super fun. It's also not as crowded and it's much, much more relaxing, which is what we're looking for. Yeah, and it's only food and drinks. They don't really sell anything here, which is fine. We're just here to hang out. So I think I got an eggnog, but I don't know. So Andrew got the warm red wine and I got whatever the lady next to you is getting. And I was like, I want that. <laughs> so whipped cream on top, it's gonna be something I like. Maybe I should try it first. I don't wanna speak too soon. Oh my God. That is the strongest eggnog, eggnog but it is so good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes. Oh my God. It's strong, but. <laughs> Good. This has been so fun. This is such a little charming small market and I've got to pretend like we are locals. <laughs> yeah, this is really fulfilling my Christmas Hallmark dreams of coming to a European Christmas market and the fact that it's Germany. But we are going to call an end to this vlog. We have about an hour left of sunlight and we're just gonna go rest for a little and then go back out and have another beer or two. So, so far it's been so fun being in Nuremberg during Christmas time and hope you enjoyed watching. Merry Christmas to everyone. Ciao. <laughs>